Today once again, welcome to today's class on ratios and proportion. We want to see how to solve this problem we have on proportion. If that five men can finish a piece of work in eight days, in how many days can 20 men complete the same work? Okay? We have direct proportion, we have inverse proportion or indirect proportion and so on. Now, when you are asked a question on direct proportion with I, I suggest you use cross multiply approach to get your answer. That is, the higher the first, the higher the second. That is why you are using it. But when you are having a direct proportion, a direct proportion, it's preferable to use this approach to solve. That is, the higher the first, the lower the second. Okay, see what we mean by that. They say that five men finish a piece of work in eight days. How many days can 20 men complete that same work? 20 men will complete it in how many days? Now, the logic behind this is that that five men succeeded in finishing it in eight days. Will 20 men finish it in more than eight days or in less than eight days? You prove with me that 20 is less than 35. So they will finish it in more than eight days. That means the lower the number of men, the higher the number of days needed to finish it. So what you now do is that you use this pattern. That means multiply these two. Multiplying these two, we will have 35 times 8 all over 20. 5 here 7, 5 here 4, 4 here 1, 4 here 2. That means they will need 14 days to finish it. So that is it. That is it. Thank you so much for watching today's video.